All right, so I'm showing that we got our power meter pretty much working. We, we still got to do a little bit more stuff on the software. So here's the power meter right here. Um, first, I'm going to, we have a load on here, which is a light bulb, which is 60 watts. And first, I'm actually going to measure it to show you what we're getting. Well, we have an ammeter hooked up, so we have 0.526. All right, and then here's our voltmeter for the actual voltage on our load. 122.4. And if you multiply those together, you get power. <laughs> we get 64 and a half. You know, and, and as you can see, our meters are jumping around a little bit. Well, the voltage isn't hooked up anymore, but the amps is varying slightly. So this is just going to grab one value here. If you show here, we're showing around 64.4 when I just took that measurement there. This is with our microcontroller. I mean, and we're, that's within 0.1 watt of what we just measured there. And so, um, we already have wireless working. We have our wireless transceiver right here, which we've shown in a previous video it works. Um, now we just need to load the full software onto here, maybe do a couple tweaks on it, and we can easily wirelessly communicate our power. So, we're quite happy. The combination of this and this will allow someone to monitor power usage in their house. They can actually use, you know, as far as a house is concerned, infinite power meters to be able to measure every device in their house if they had the money for it. And this thing, in quantity, in quantity would probably cost less than $30, you know, probably in the low 20s range. And, I mean, this thing would be under $10 in quantity. So you only need one of these and you can, to get set up. And so this is just like a startup cost. And every one of these will be... You know, if, if this is being sold on the market, it could be done under $50. Amen. <laughs>